Jesus was sat having a meal and a lady walked into the room holding some really expensive perfume and she went right up to where Jesus was sat and then poured it all over his feet and then wiped it up with her long hair afterwards. And the people in the room were really shocked and they said, why this waste? Another lady was a really outgoing, friendly, lovable person who just made all the other people around her feel so loved and so cared for. And she was also really talented, really gifted. She really helped her local community and she really excelled at her profession. But then she felt called to become um, an enclosed nun. And so she went into the convent where she spent most of her day in prayer and intercession and praise of God, no longer interacting with people, no longer using most of the gifts and the talents and the personality that she had. And a lot of people said, and sometimes she herself wondered, why this waste? A lady was really close to her family and she, she entered a community as a, a postulant, then became a novice and one of her family members became really ill, so ill that they couldn't look after themselves anymore. And it would have made so much sense if that sister had come out of the community and um, gone and lived with her family member to, to care for them in their own home and be with them so they've got, they had someone that they knew and loved to, to live with. But no, she went ahead and took life vows and stayed in the community and the family member had to move into an expensive care home. And some people said, and sometimes the sister found herself wondering herself, why such a waste? Another young lady was very beautiful and she was very popular with the guys and she felt called to become a, sis a religious sister and so she entered a community and was never able to, to be with a guy again. She had a very beautiful body that no one would ever see. Every, she had a lot of love to give to people that she would never be able to, to offer to a, a boyfriend or a husband. And within the convent every month, her body even gave her a reminder of the fact that her body was designed to, to create and bear children and as she grew up in this community she then got to an age where she realized that her body was no no longer able to to create and give birth to children and some people thought and sometimes she wondered herself why this waste a young lady was often thinking about what where does god want where does God want me in the world? Where does God, what does God want to do with my life? And she had, she had lots of ideas of what she felt suited her and she felt she knew kind of what her gifts and her talents were. And she had an idea of the kind of Christian activity she liked to be engaged in. And the more she thought about it, the more she realized that really at the end of the day, she was, she was on earth to to praise God, to know God's love, but also to do God's will. And that you can do so much Christian activity and you can create so many different forms of Christian life for yourself that, that look very beautiful and very Christian and yet aren't quite what God himself, God's self is asking you to do. And the more she the more she thought about it, the more she realised that she was trying to go along with the, the, the Christian life that she preferred rather than the Christian life that God, like the vocation that God was calling her to. And she realised that any Christian life that wasn't what God was specifically calling her to, that was her wasting her life. And she looked at the, the different things that were very appealing, the different vocations that she might have preferred or that looked so attractive in so many different ways and seemed to use so much of what she had to offer the world. But because it wasn't what she felt God was calling her to, she, she thought, really, 
what a waste. And so feeling what she felt God was asking her to do, she opened her laptop and got in touch with the community she felt God calling her to.